Uh, hey there, I'm Dave and uh, I, Seaside Chat, although I'm on the river today, uh, it's fishing day. Um, probably the last one of the year for me, out for uh, chum salmon and coho salmon. Sun's coming up, beautiful day. Saw a bear this morning, which is good, caught a fish already. Um, so if you're watching this, you're probably aware that Dave's Picks Volume 32 is now out. And uh, I maybe put it on pause this thing and go and uh, order it because it will probably sell out soon. It is a, <laughs> it's a magnificent show. Um, I mean, we always try to make the magnificent shows. This is a show that's been on our radar for a long time. And for whatever reason, it's been bypassed. It's been kind of just not released and now it's finally time. So the show, as you're probably aware, is from the Philadelphia Spectrum, uh, March 24th, 1973, the spring tour of 1973, a short tour that ran from uh, the middle of March at Nassau Coliseum through Boston Garden on April 2nd of 73. Uh, really great stuff. I love the, the first half of 1973. So much to talk about. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on things. Um, the fish might be running, which means the bears might be coming out. But anyhow, uh, hope not. <laughs> Actually, I hope so. They're kind of fun to see. Um, so, uh, Dave's Picks 32. Now, in the last few years in the Dave's Picks series, we've done a couple of shows from this tour. We did a Springfield, uh, a Massachusetts show a couple days later, four days later, and then the last show of the tour that I just mentioned, the Boston Garden show. We also did that one. And uh, this one was always considered, and for whatever reason, we went with one of the other two. And then, now that we've really dug very deeply into the Philly show from March 24th, we're like, geez, why didn't this one come out sooner? Uh, it's a really good one. Um, it's quite magnificent, actually. Um, and uh, so this is a show, if you go back for me, uh, 32 years, 1987, a uh, good friend back then, Dan Fraser, who's no longer with us, um, but a really great guy in Ottawa, Canada, gave me a cassette of the second set. And I was, I think a good word would be enamored with it. I didn't have the first set, but I had the second set. And I remember specifically, it was in my early tape trading days from this era, from 73, 74. I had a few shows. Of course, I had RFK. I had August 1st. I had, um, I had one of the Winterlands, the November 11th show. And I had Maples Pavilion. So I didn't have a big 73 collection. Then along comes this Philly show. And I said, this is so different than anything I've heard from 73. It's precision, it's precise, and yet it's incredibly improvisational. And there's so much to talk about, or at least listen to from this show in both the first set and the second set. Now remember, about uh, a little over a month and a half earlier, the Grateful that had debuted all that new material at Maples Pavilion. And several of those songs appear here, Wave That Flag, They Love Each Other, Row Jimmy, uh, Here Comes Sunshine, a lot of these songs are in the first set. And they're all played incredibly well. Now, they've already had two tours under their belts with these new songs, one in February and then this new March tour. So they were all really quite developed by now, and the Dead were playing really hard at the time. They were playing uh, very focused, good, Grateful Dead music at the time. So along comes this show in Philadelphia, sold out, I think 20,000 people just about. Uh, it was a sold out show. And they really, really delivered. Now remember, just seven months earlier, six or seven months earlier, the Dead had played the Spectrum, uh, Dick's Picks Volume 36 on November 21st of 72. And it's with that energy that all of a sudden the Dead come back and they do a show that's equal, to my opinion, equally as good as that one, as the one in, um, in September of 72. So the first set, kind of typical of the era, but there's a couple real standouts in the in the first set. The, the first one is the Here Comes Sunshine, which this is probably about the eighth or tenth version of it, I don't know, uh, but they debuted it in February, and then here they are in March uh, playing it again, and it is so tight, it's incredibly powerful, whereas the ones later in the year I find bigger and more jamming, and if you look at, listen to the one from Dick's Picks Volume 1, those really are kind of the big, perfect, longer ones. This one, it's got a quicker tempo, and it's so driven, and it's so, I, again, I think a good word would be perfect. It's really, sorry, the sun just went behind a tree so I can see again. Um, and to me, this is my favorite version of Here Comes Sunshine. And I've said that a lot about Here Comes Sunshine because I do like a lot of the November versions and December versions of Here Comes Sunshine. But this one in particular is so driving. It's very similar to all of the ones on this tour. The one in Boston uh, a week later is also really, really good. So this is a, a, a truly outstanding. It's a little cold, so I've got a bit of a cold. My mouth is cold. Everything's cold. My fingers are cold. Um, 
And, and so the Here Comes Sunshine to me is the first really big highlight of the show. There are a lot of highlights of the show. We always aim for the Davis Pick series to be, first of all, excellent shows, first and foremost, but also have really big moments that you can really point to as exceptional, really exceptional Grateful Dead moments. And there are a lot in the show. The Here Comes Sunshine is certainly one of them. Uh, and a couple of songs later to end the first set, playing in the band. And this is a very different playing in the band from the 1972 versions where they launch right into the kind of stratosphere or they go straight for the, the jugular. They go, they really start playing hard in the 72 versions. This one is a lot more kind of introspective and jazzy. And I really like this version. It's very meditative. It's the kind of one you can just kind of sink into while you listen. I love this playing in the band. Now the second set, uh, typical of the era is kind of where it's at in terms of the bigger stuff. There's a magnificent China Rider uh, and a lot of the smaller songs, Big River, uh, the beautiful Stella Blue, a little standalone Stella Blue. So there are a lot of really good songs in the uh, in the second set as they lead up to the big jam. Now the big jam in 73 would generally either be a dark star or an other one. And this show does get a dark star, but we'll get to that in a minute. But the big jam isn't the dark star, which is shocking. Um, and so they open up the jam sequence with a big, beautiful He's Gone. Now, He's Gone, within the context of where the dead were at historically at the time, Pigpen had passed away two and a half weeks earlier. And even though the song, of course, wasn't written about Pigpen, it certainly had an added poignancy, I think, for the loss of Pigpen. And everybody in the crowd would have known this. It was pretty big news in the music world and certainly in the Grateful Dead world that Pig had passed um, a couple of weeks earlier. So you've got this beautiful He's Gone as the launching pad to a really, really rockin' truckin', which you can imagine 20,000 people in Philadelphia, 1973, rocking out to, uh, to truckin', just wonderful. And then it goes into a 20-minute jam, and the jam has so many themes, including a big Spanish jam theme, and just, they really rock it. It reminds me a little bit of the one in, in Portland in, 70, uh, in 74, uh, where they just kind of play a lot of different themes and they just really have fun with the jam coming out of trucking and then as that jam dies down you think okay well that was a wonderful jam we didn't get another one or a dark star they launch into dark star and it's it's one of the strangest most unique dark stars ever in that it's completely developed they sing it there's a verse um just the one verse and they and they uh they they play the melody and they play some really cool jamming but the whole thing is only about four minutes long it's it's very like i say i think unique is the word because it is a fully developed and really excellent dark star a typical kind of 30 minute dark star condensed into four minutes it's just wonderful and then a sing me back home and a sugar magnolia and then an encore and it's a really great show it's a long show um so what I would recommend is if you're watching this, I, hopefully you've put it on pause and gone to get it because there aren't too many left. Um, I know that when they put these on sale, they tend to sell out within either a couple few hours or even less. And this is a great show. This is one that, I mean, I would, I would want in my collection. And it was a show, like I said, that I had for many, many years, the second set, thanks to my buddy Dan. But it was the first set when I got, when I started working for the dead. Um, that I listened to the first set from the vault source. Uh, oh, and speaking of the source, I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, I realized, my God, this is a uh, upper echelon Grateful Dead show. The second set, of course, but the first set is a real wow um, as well. So the tapes, we've always had really good tapes in the vault, 7-inch master reels. And as you probably know, a few years ago, we a whole bunch of tapes came back to the vault, including Cornell and, and short shows like that, 226, 77. Etc. And one of the shows we got back was the Philly Spectrum, the 10 inch reels, which is a different mix, different sound. And so we ended up using those for this with a little bit of the 7 inch reels because we didn't have the complete show on the 10 inch reels. So we're using kind of both sources. Um, for the most part, though, it's the, the 10 inch reel, the, the better mix, the better sound. And it does sound incredible. Um, for Jeffrey is, you know, I've told you this before that. Uh, when Jeffrey is really excited by a project, uh, a show, a tape, a uh, performance usually, he'll call up in the middle of it, oh my gosh, this is a great show, or this is a great sounding show, of a, a great show with great tapes, and he did that a couple of times during this one, so that was always exciting. Um, and you know, big round of applause for Jeffrey, who's consistently making these things sound incredible, I think, like, I mean, they blow me away. Um, hopefully they do you too. So if, uh, if you get a chance, 
Go to dead.net, order this. If you've already subscribed, you'll get it anyway. And uh, this is our last one of the year. We've got um, some great stuff coming up in 2020. We've got number 33 just about done in terms of selected and ready to go. It's actually, it is ready to go. It's, um, and we're now working on number 34 plus the bonus disc if you're, if you're subscribing. And we've got some really good variety and some really good Grateful Dead coming up. Uh, really great Grateful Dead, I think, coming up next year um, in terms of the Dave's Picks and a box set and some other really cool things. We also have some fun things that we're working on. And we've got a few really fun things coming up. So uh, check out dead.net. Uh, do order this one if you get a chance because it is a good one. Um, it's a great one. I love this show. Probably one of these shows that should have come out many years ago but didn't. And that's, I think, the nice thing about The Vault. There are a lot of shows in there that have not come out yet that are kind of A plus upper echelon Grateful Dead and we'll just keep releasing them. As long as you're interested, uh, we'll keep doing what we do if you keep doing what you do. And uh, I mean, we love what we do. I certainly do. So I'm gonna get back to fishing. Um, oh, you can actually see some rises out there and those are uh, probably coho salmon. There's also some chum out here, um, quite a few bears. The fish have not started dying on the river yet. So the bears aren't quite as active as they might be in about two weeks. Um, but there are a lot. It's kind of fun. It's uh, it's always beautiful. Um, a lot of eagles flying around too, which is why I kind of was just looking up a minute ago. So thank you for watching. Uh, this has been an announcement for Dave's Picks Volume 32 from the Philadelphia Spectrum, March 24th, 1973. A really great Grateful Dead show with so much great music, start to finish. It sounds great. Uh, the Here Comes Sunshine playing in the band. The He's Gone Truckin' Jam, Dark Star. There's a lot of good stuff. Uh, and there's, I think close to 30 songs maybe. Um, so yeah, check this one out. It's, uh, I mean, it's going to be a nice kind of thing on my shelf in my collection. I love this show. So thank you for watching and sorry it's not a seaside chat, but oh, there's a deer over there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'll try and zoom in uh, when we're done. So thank you for uh, for listening and watching and I'll try and zoom in on this deer, but it's, it's just in this little clearing over there. Okay, thanks. Bye. Yeah, I think there's a deer there. There is. Can you see it? There it is. Bye.